Hi guys! It is just another day in the block, which means I will be studying the whole day. I was supposed to go babysitting tonight, but it got cancelled, so I have um, not been studying as much as I'm supposed to, I think. But I only got four exams and I don't know if I feel prepared or not, but anyways, let not discussion about that. I'm gonna make another what I eat in a day video. It's been quite a while ago and I'm excited to show you because for breakfast I'm actually making vegan pain au chocolat. I don't know, it's like a croissant but with chocolate inside and there is like one vegan bakery in Belgium I know and he recently started making like vegan pastries and croissants and everything but it's in Kent, so I'm pretty much never there or never in the morning to get some. And I have seen my friends getting them, they look so delicious. One day I will get them, I'm sure. But I was also kind of jealous on that. And then recently I came across this recipe for making them yourself. And I was just so excited and I didn't know it was that easy. So anyways, I'm gonna share the recipe with you for that, so you can make them yourself as well because it's so super easy. You only basically need two things. You just need some of this dough. I don't know how it's called in English, but I will look it up for you. So it's pretty much it's like this um kind of crumble dough, and then you need some dark chocolate, which is a vegan. So just make sure that it's vegan, um, but yeah, and then basically you just gotta cut the dough in pieces and put the chocolate in between and you just roll it up. Um, this is the way I do it, but of course you can uh, find maybe some other ways, some better ways. I just make these mini versions and I think they're just delicious. So you put them in the oven on like 180 degrees uh, Celsius for about 10 minutes and they will be ready. Um, I used to eat them when they're hot but um, I think yesterday I let them get cold and then the chocolates get hard inside. I just think it's super delicious because that's how they're supposed to be. So my suggestion is let them get cold when the chocolate is hard and mm -mm -mm, enjoy. That's my breakfast. Didn't really eat one yet so I'm gonna try one right now. I have one here, look at that. Mm. The chocolate is not that hard yet, but it's so good. So that's gonna be my breakfast. Um, I'm not gonna eat all of them right now, just maybe two or something. Um, yeah, I will show you for the rest of the day what I'm gonna eat. And in this video, I also wanna mention something. I've currently found an app. And it's not chronometer. You guys probably all know a chronometer. The thing is that if you want to put in a food, most of the foods on there are, I think, from America. They, like, they don't know any Belgian foods or foods we have here in Europe or something. When you want to try and find them, it doesn't find it. So you have to find something similar to it, which is okay, I guess. But um, I found another app and I'm going to show you it right now which I think is super super good. This is the app, but the app is called My Fitness Pal, so I'm gonna open it right now. The very first time when you install the app, you have to give in your country, and I put in Belgium, so it does recognize all the Belgian products, I guess. Um, you can see here, it tells me I can only eat 1,300 calories a day, but I actually don't really look at that. When you go into your diary, you can put in your breakfast, you can scroll down and see the foods you have had previously. You can also just look up foods or you can scan the products. This is super easy. I'm just gonna scan the products I use for breakfast, which is this Zara. So when you scan the products, it will give you all the information, amount of carbs, fats, proteins, the amount of calories. You just gotta adjust the amount that you used for your recipe and um, it will just show you the amount of calories for the amount that you use. So I'm just scanning the chocolate as well and adjusting the amount of chocolate I used in this recipe. And then you just click OK when that's all set. So you can see breakfast for five vegan croissants, it's like 924 calories. 
so just a side note I didn't eat all the croissants I've made just half of them so I adjusted the calories later on in that day besides breakfast you can give in other meals and your exercise a day when you go to nutrition you can see the amount of carbs fats and proteins you're getting in a day um, you see here I have a lot of fats so far because that's of the vegan croissants you can also go to nutrition's but because I'm not on premium you can actually not see all of the things that kind of sucks but I'm happy and satisfied with just seeing my amount of fat protein and carbs I am trying to reduce them still in the day so far because that's a lot of fat <laughs> My goal is to have 70% of carbs, 20% of fats, and 10% of proteins. The app tells you to have 50% of carbs, 30% of fat, and 20% of protein, but I think 20% is quite a lot of protein, and with 10% you're gonna be definitely satisfied, because I never reach 20%. Let's appreciate the weather today. It's been so good. Look at the dark sky. Let's take a look what I'm gonna eat for lunch um but some melon left I'm gonna eat that this afternoon um I don't feel like eating bread I do have some spreads like this one I'm just not feeling to eat that I have some avocado I don't know let's take this I might make some roasted bread but I think I might eat some yogurt with some kind of muesli. So, gonna do that. got 2000 calories today and when we look at an overview you can see I got quite a lot of fat 40% of fat 40% of carbs and like 15% of protein this is quite a lot of fat it really depends on the food you eat my breakfast was not that healthy so that's the reason why so I just want to say that not all my days are like this I don't eat that much of fat every day but it really depends on the season and how I feel and just 
all the super cool stuff like right now while I'm studying I kind of eat a lot of nuts like I study as a snack and they contain a lot of fat but so anyways I'm not scared of fat I just kind of want to make this note here I'm not scared of fat but I mean 40% is quite a lot because you know the breakfast is not that healthy and I just said all the things um, but it's okay some days you know you're gonna have lots of fat and I compensate you know some other days I barely have any fats in my food to just compensate and, and eat some more fruit and legumes and carbs the next day or something you don't have to be scared of them so I just want to make that note here I use this app not every day but I just kind of use it to have an overlook of the food I'm eating while I'm studying I have meat more fats than I used to when I go to school or when I go to work or when I have another like schedule I guess of my days so anyways um, I'm gonna end my video here I hope you like this video and um, I hope to see you very soon in the next one so thank you for watching guys bye